All right, friends, so we've talked about surfaces and we kind of have an idea on that. Now we're gonna look at essential colors. And the reason we're just talking about essential colors is because there are over a hundred colors in the Liquitex brand alone that we could choose from. And that can be really overwhelming if you think about it because where do we even start, right? So in Acrylic 101, we're just gonna use our primaries. We're gonna have two yellows, two reds, two blues, and we're gonna go with a cooler yellow and a warmer yellow, a cooler red and a warmer red, a cooler blue and a warmer blue. And so um, the reason for this is because really with those colors, we can, we can basically get any color on the color wheel. It's a lot easier to learn with a simple and a simplified palette, like a simplified color range than trying to figure out the nuances of like 25 colors. So if we have six colors plus white, black, and gray, which we'll use also, uh, we'll be able to mix up so many different things. So our cadmium yellow comes in light and dark here. So this is actually called cadmium yellow deep. And both of these are cadmium free. So the, the pigment cadmium is a little bit toxic. So they've started making these cadmium free colors and these are actually formulated to be really uh, true to the original cadmium colors and they're really great. But they come without the toxic um, cadmium in it. So that's a good option if you, if you want that. Um, the yellow light will be the cooler. This is gonna veer more towards green. This is gonna veer more towards orange. You can kind of see there on the color there, and it's gonna be the warmer of the two. In reds, we have cadmium red medium, and we have quinacridone magenta. The cadmium red is gonna be the hottest color on the color chart. So basically, if we're talking about a color getting warmer, it's moving towards this color, really. And if it's uh, moving away from it, it's getting a little bit cooler. But this is quinacridone magenta. It's, it's going to be geared a little bit more towards violet and it's a little bit on the cooler side. In blues, we have what is ultramarine blue. It's gonna be our warmer blue. And we have phthalo blue, which is gonna be our cooler blue. It's gonna veer a little bit more towards green. This is gonna veer a little bit more towards violet also. In fact, in this professional heavy body uh, paint, it actually is ultramarine in parentheses there, it says red shade. And this thalo blue in parentheses says green shade. So these are labeled that way, but the, the some of the other paints aren't labeled like that. So don't worry about the red shade, the green shade so much. Um, if, you're, if you're buying this exact one, make sure you get these. But if you're buying another brand that just says ultramarine blue, and it just says phthalo blue, don't worry about that. The ultramarine is going to veer towards the red. The phthalo is gonna to veer towards the green, so don't even worry about that. We also have Mars black, which is um, a good solid black. We have neutral gray, number five. It's right in the middle between white and black in terms of its value, which is the darkness or lightness of it. And then we have titanium white, which is a nice opaque white. So. These are the colors, the essential colors. Um, and with them, you will be able to mix any color that you really want to mix, and you're gonna have a blast doing it. So let's move on to the next thing, which will be our paint box and our mixing palette.